everyone, it's Yolanda from the All Crafts channel and today I am just going to do a quick video uh, to show you how to do a new pattern. Um, now that it's getting warmer, I thought it would be good to do a pattern that could be used for the summer. And so here, I'm just going to wait a couple minutes till some people get here. And uh, so today I'm just going to be using a 5.5 millimeter hook, but you can use whatever size you want. I'm going to be kind of fast today because... I'm not feeling that well. I've been, <laughs> I don't know if you guys have been following me. I've been juicing, so it's been a few days. So now it's kind of like day seven. I thought I would be feeling better by now, but it still hasn't been too easy. So I'm going to go ahead and um, start now. And for you listening on the replay, um, then I'm just going to be doing a quick little pattern for you guys. And hopefully you'll enjoy this one. And you can use this for shawls or blankets or whatever else you need. So let me, let me go ahead and turn this around if it'll let me here it doesn't want to move the camera okay let's get that here and let me turn up let me turn on this other line as well so that we can see better so here then I'm just going to be using a medium weight yarn but you can use this with any kind of yarn hello everyone Ahisa Mills and Fatima so today this pattern is actually made out of the foundation stitches are multiples of six plus three so I'm going to do three repeats for you so I'm going to start with 18 chains and then I'm going to add three more so here I'm going to go ahead and start that and um, the first one is always hard to, hardest to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen 17, 18, so that would be your three repeats, and then you're going to do three more, one, two, and three. Okay, so now here, um, we're going to begin by doing, um, right here, the first, uh, the first three chains, one, two, three, are going to count as my first double crochet, and then, hi Vicky and Diana, and then here we're going to, um, we're going to be working two double crochets, and then, um, chain one two double crochets in the sixth chain from the hook so here's one two three four five six in this one i'm going to do two double crochets chain one two double crochets i'm going to yarn over into that sixth chain you're going to do one two i'm going to chain one and then do two double crochets once again now the thing when you do these is that you have to um, when you finish doing it, sometimes this, when there's a lot of stitches, it kind of pushes against that chain. So you want to make sure you don't skip the next chain, that you don't miss counting that one. So here's one stitch. Oops, sorry about that. And then here, um, I'm going to skip the next two chains. So here's one, two, and then in this next chain, I'm going to do a double crochet. Okay, and this is a pretty nice pattern for like shawls or... Um, lightweight blankets. Now here I'm going to go ahead and skip the next two. Here's the chain one, two, and then the third chain I'm going to do that repeat again. Two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. One, two, chain one, and then two double crochets in the same stitch. So just making these little shells and little stitches. I don't know if you can see it. It seems kind of dark to me right now. And two. And then once again, I'm going to skip two chains and then I'm going to do a double crochet. Let's see if I turn on this light, will it help? Oh, not too much. So here I'm going to chain, skip the next one, two, and then here once again, I'm going to do that repeat. Oops, excuse me, do a double crochet, excuse me. So here you're going to have a this one, these three chains are counting as that double crochet. You have your first repeat, double crochet, first repeat, and then you're skipping two chains in between your stitches. So here's one, here's chain one, two, and then in the third one, you're going to go ahead and do your two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets. This is day seven of my uh, juice fast, and everybody told me by day seven you'll be feeling great. I'm not feeling great yet, so <laughs> as a matter of fact, I feel like okay, then all of a sudden I lose all my energy and I just feel like I need to lay down. 
So here now at the end, we're going to skip the last the next two chains, one, two, and then double crochet in the end, in that last chain. And this is super easy to do because once you get your first pattern here, um, that first one to go up, you're just going to repeat rows two and three. It's basically that's all you do this next row. You're going to go up, you chain three, one, two, three, you turn your work over, and then you're going to do in this the section here with the chain one, you're going to do your repeat, your pattern there. So here you're going to skip these. You're going to go in here and do two ch double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And then from here it gets a little bit easier. Then here on the next one you're just going to go ahead without chaining, you're going to go ahead and either do double crochet here if you want it to look plain like this, if you want it to look plain like that, you can do it that way. Or if you want it to have a front post, you can do the front post. It depends on what texture you want. So here, if you're going to do the front post, then you would come in the bottom, grab your yarn, and do your double crochet. I'm going to do one row with that and the other one with that so you could see the difference. And then you go and do your, your pattern, your little shells in the next one again. Oh, thank you. Yeah, this color is called baby pink and it's, um, gosh, I think it's red heart. It's red heart super saver and it's called baby pink. So I like it too. It's kind of soft. And two, and then here I'm going to do this next one, double crochet over here. I'm going to do it plain so you could see the difference. Okay. Hi, Kathy. And then here, the last piece, you just do your repeats again. So it's super easy. Um, but it makes a nice little sh little shell and post pattern. Chain one and then double crochet. And then when you get here to the end, your last double crochet is going to be on top of this chain three. So sometimes it's hard to see it if you just twist it there. You could see it's right here. That's going to be your last stitch of the row. So that's what it's going to look like. Can you guys see that? So this one is more coming up. If you could see it's not flat, this one, the next one is flat. So you could do it either way, whichever way you prefer. If you want it more texture, if you want it flatter. And I guess it depends on what you're doing. Oh, I'm feeling a little tired because I this is day seventh of so Kifi asked me how I'm feeling. I'm like a little tired. So to go up, you just chain three and you just keep repeating that over and over again. But when you go here on the second one, if you're doing the um, the texture, like if you're doing the front post, then when you go in alternate uh, rows here, then you're going to have to do it from the back. Like, you know, it's going to be, well, I'll show you right now. Here, you're going to go here, do your double crochets. One, two, chain one, double crochet twice. One, two. This one I'm going to do it plain because this is the one I was doing plain. So I'm just going into that double crochet and doing a regular double crochet. So you could see it's nice and flat. It's not getting that texture. Then here you repeat once again, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets, super easy. But if you're doing the one with the texture here, then you don't want to come here through the front. You're going to go here through the back so that you could keep that texture going. So that's the only difference. One row you do it through the front and the next row you do it through the back. So you would come here through the back, grab it and do a back post. So if you don't want to hassle with that, you can just do it all flat. Thank you. <laughs> two and then chain one and then double crochet again. One, two, and then here now we're going to do our last stitch. Our double crochet goes on top of that third chain. So I'm going to turn the work around. One, two, three. So here, then you could see the difference. See how this one is flat and this one is um, lifted like that. So that's the only thing you need to remember. One, like if I, when I, once I come here, it's coming through the front. So I'm going to go ahead and go through the front. If it's going through the back, remember, it just depends on which which way I'm doing it. I just have to alternate. So one row is a front post double crochet. The next one is a back post. Or if you don't want to hassle with that again and you just want to work on this like you're watching TV or something, you're doing a blanket or a shawl, 
you can just do it flat like this it told it's totally up to you i like them both ways i think they both look pretty um so it just depends on which you prefer so this one has you can see that when it has kind of like that little ridge and this one's flat but whichever do whichever one's easier for you and it's going to be faster and just kind of enjoyable so this is um a little uh, pattern I like to do even with like spring or summer baby um, blankets where you just need a little bit to cover the baby but not something super heavy and so this is how you would just remember when you first your your first row is just completely straight then the second row if you're going to do the ridge the fr the row two has the front post and then when you go to turn your work around then here you do it through the back so and the back will look, there will be a right and back and wrong side. So you could see that the post is going different. And if you do it flat, there is no right or wrong side. They both look great. It just depends on what you like. But I thought, uh, I had thought about not doing it today because my, I was feeling kind of tired, but I didn't want to let you guys down. Um, yeah, you could do it with, yeah, a few rows of white and pink, or you could combine it with different colors. It would also be a nice way to use some of your lighter weight yarn. Um, hi Carmen. So just something easy. So I'm going to go ahead and save this video up on the channel so you could go back and check it out. You can decide, do you want it the, with a ridge or flat? I think they both look the same. Um, yes, Carmen, thank you for, <laughs> for coming on the uh, line. So I'm going to go now because I am feeling kind of a little bit of droopy, but I'm glad you guys joined me, even though it was a little late, like four minutes late. I hope you enjoyed this little pattern and then this is a little pattern you could use for shawls, blankets, whatever you want, scarves. Um, it's nice because it's a little bit open so it's not too heavy or hot but it's also just nice like sometimes even for a shawl if you need something in the evening. Um, this would work great. So um, thank you so much for checking in. I'll save the, the video on the channel. And I want to thank you all. Remember always that God loves you and I love you all so much. Thank you.